Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. St. Mordecai here. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I'm ready to play some Life is Strange 2. Episode 2 is finally out. It came out today. I am excited to play. Wasn't trying to rhyme, but I did that time. Anyway, hope everyone had a good holiday season. Hope everyone had a good new year. And uh, we're going to continue with some uh, episode 2. Which is going to be great. Play episode 2. Thankfully they will do it previously on Life is Strange. Because it's been a while since we've been with Sean and Daniel. Almost forgot their names for goodness sake. It's been too long. Let's see what shenanigans they get into. The wolf pack. together but one day hunters took their dad away forever so now the brothers were alone and they had to find a new home they started a journey through the great big forest the wolf brothers wandered for days and nights learning how to live on their own for the first time they slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. Oh, he showed them how to survive and help them find a warm camp for the night. Brody's the bear. That's what the big brother discovered. The little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their papa, where they hope to find peace. Well, that's one way to do it previously on Life is Strange. I like that. It was cute. Oh, mercy. Oh, my awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit save file was it? imported well if you don't know what that's about go check my previous videos yeah to our grandparents okay my beverage of choice today by the way is water good old water Mushroom. That was the name of the dog, right? Was it Mushroom? I forget. I forgot about the doggy. Cute doggy. <laughs> Try with his one. That one's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. He's over here practicing his telekinesis. Heck yeah. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I wonder if he's gonna get nosebleeds like Max did. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. I was right. It's named Mushroom. Okay, good. I feel good about it. Mushroom. <laughs> Can 
I talk to Daniel? I cannot. Okay. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. Right. So, Sean, what yeah. should I try now? Wait a minute. I'm gonna show you something you can try to lift. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just... one more time. You could try and lift mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Not your usual shooting range, right? How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. Skills. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Sometimes he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this through. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. You can do it. Whoa! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <laughs> no pressure. Nice. Aww, that sucked. How about one more? The fact that he was able to deflect it, though, was cool. We may get a little out of that. <laughs> Look what I can do, Sean. I That's knew amazing. You I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. This mushroom with us. Look at her. Out. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. The has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just 
and outside for a while. We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Language, little Oops. guy. Sorry. I said fucking. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. You're cute, but it's still not cute to swear at that what? age. What did you find, Shroom? Just saying. That ain't cute. Oh, come on. Not again. We gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. A family of rabbits lives out here. Just like us. Uh, are you getting hungry? Not really. Really? I'm getting hungry. I can. You eat like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. Shade. Uh, hey. It's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or... worse. What's worse than a bear in Nano? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> oh! He is so cute. We're not pranking the bunnies. Leave the bunnies alone. We're walking. Oh! Almost forgot to check out our traps today. I don't know if I could... gut an animal anyway. Daniel, where the Halle Berry did you go so quickly? I'm blind. Where is he? I lost him. Again! Oh, terrible. No, oh, you were over there. Boy! What were you looking at, bud? This dog is so let's cute! See. What am I let seeing? Whatever. What? What easy? Yeah, I looked at that one already. There was nothing. Sorry. It's okay. We'll catch other things another time. Don't even worry about it. A snowman, though. It's cute. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Runaway millennials. And part-time forest squatters yes. at your service. Have another dog. So he can keep mushroom company. Oh, that'd be so cool. No thanks. I don't need a third puppy right now. Ha! What kind of dog were you, Sandy? A cool stray mutt like our little mushroom? I'm gonna say beagle or retriever. How old are these kids today? It's 
guy, if you don't stop running around like another butter, every two seconds you're running somewhere Dead else. Dog. The dog is still too cute. Look at that. You're such a good girl. Doggies are way better than humans. Because she's so funny when she plays in the snow. Look at her. <laughs> she loves it. Hey, get over here. I'm just looking at the mess I'm making in the ground and how it stays, which is kind of nice. Careful, little puppy. Don't catch a cold. Look who's talking. Can we <laughs> enter in here? We cannot. Okie dokie. Can we look in there? No, we cannot. Alright. Oh, there's another trap. Yep. No, me tonight. It's so silent out here. No neighbors. No roads. It's like we're on another planet. We're fugitives, boy. A new planet. <laughs> That's exactly what we need. Are we gonna slice logs again? No. I think we're covered for tonight. Am I about to draw something? Or am I going to ponder life? I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. It gave us time to rest and process all that happened. Prody was right. We're stronger now. Look out for each other. We're in this together. These woods are so peaceful. So quiet. No planes, no highways. Just the river. Continuously flowing. I wish we could stay here longer. But Daniel's health is getting worse every day. And the food is running low. Will we need to move? Again? Alright, that's enough contemplation for one moment. Go back inside now. Totes. Let's do it. We had to use Daniel's gift to break in. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh. It's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. 
The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh... I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. <sighs> Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But... I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because... you couldn't. <coughs> Even Mushroom is concerned. Worry, mushroom. You're dying. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> nice. Alright, I gotta make this guy some dinner. Oh boy, no pressure, Chase. Okay, let's see. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. He is beating himself up, Bodzies. Mug. Kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. Two. One. Let's see here. Let's start a fire. That'd be a good idea. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. Are these 30 magazines? The guy who came here sure had time to kill. Shoot. Poor doggy's out of water. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Daniel must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. That is quite some art. Hmm. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Daddy Hill, P.O. Box 367, Cascadia, Oregon. Hi, Dad. Say hello to your little girl in Miami. Yes, there's a sun here, and it burns. I love it. Tom knows everybody, and I keep waiting to meet 
Scarface? We're at his friend's killer condo with a beach view and balcony. I feel so spoiled, but I know John is at a castle in the Alps, so I don't feel so bad. Plus, I really like it here. What a great way to start the new century. I miss our vacation at the Secret Lodge, but I don't miss the raccoons in my room. Hope you can come visit soon after summer. Love you, Maggie. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but it helped staying warm. This cute freaking dog, please. Oh, so now you let me pet you, huh? <laughs> Give and take. I get it. Gotta find a lighter. What is this? Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. Yes, I know what my objectives are. Dang it. I'm just browsing because it's Pro what I tip, do. Always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hello, motel room soap. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. For real, you don't even know what those are for. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. I love that it just says, nope, no poop. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. <sighs> no more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. Jeez. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. To you young boys, probably pretty, pretty, pretty smelly. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Yep, no more indoor training sessions. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Thanks, Hank. Dickhead. Of course. He's the town fucking hero now. Are you kidding me? Local hero attacked by fugitives in store invasion? Oh, what is that? Terrible press. Lies! Police are investigating a store invasion by the two Seattle runaways believed to be responsible for the death of a Seattle police officer in October. Hank Stamper, owner of a gas station off Highway 5 and a pillar of the community, yeah, okay, said he confronted the two brothers, Sean and Daniel Diaz, after they allegedly stole items from his store. Stamper told the police that the brothers escaped into the woods. Yeah, I was scared. You know how crazy kids can be these days. Continued on page 5. I didn't steal anything from his store until after all of that. How can I feel bad for him? Family recalls gentle officer being killed in Seattle shooting. Ashley Matthews, sister of Officer Philip Matthews, killed in a mysterious and controversial Seattle incident that left two dead, has released a statement regarding the threat she received in online critics of the officer. My brother was a kind man. He was in the force for only six months and shouldn't have been alone that day. My heart is with the Diaz family and all the victims of that terrible accident, including us. The police department needs better funding, so no officer goes on patrol alone if their partner is sick or unavailable. 
Philip dedicated his life to helping others, especially children in at-risk homes, and he always volunteered his time for charity. It's easy for people to judge an attack behind a keyboard, but just as we mourn for others, we mourn for the loss of a brave public servant. Ah, dang it. Feel bad about that. That's pretty bad. Nice. <sighs> no excuse not to binge read. Yeah. yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. What is this? Hope Patient Center, 21 Medical Boulevard, Hoover, Oregon, May 25th, 2003. Wow, that is 13 years ago. In the game. In the game, it's 13 years ago. I know how to math, okay? Jeez. Dear Mr. Patrick Hill, this is a reminder for your scheduled chemotherapy appointment at the Hope Patient Center on September 8th at 2 p.m. That is quite the reminder. From May 25th, they are reminding you for a therapy session on the 8th of September. Jeez. Please read the enclosed instructions to prepare for your visit. If you have any questions, please call our main office at 555-HOPE. That's a nice number. 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sincerely, Dr. Fisher. Uh, I'm going to assume the person before who used to live here died. Dead for a week. But at least we got some news. I'm used to ink, so... This will be different. I have to wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah. No internet. Oh yeah, I read this already. Okay. Read this already. Read that last, uh... Gameplay. There's you later. This Hello. thing has saved our ass. Give it that. Thanks for time to get warm. Is there anything else to look at? I don't think so. Okay. What is these? Kind of reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Daniel's lair. I love it. Gotta love one hit wonders. Alright, let's go start this fire. We didn't start the fire. Da -da 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 -da, but I'm gonna light it. Ooh. Fire! Here we go. It's gonna suck when Hold he runs on, out Michelle. of lighter We're fluid. Build a fire. Sweet. Warmth. Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. That would be great. I could honestly. start Daniel's delivery service. Really? His imagination is impeccable. I love it. We're so lucky this thing, thing is still working. Weird. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. Daniel needs a doggo friend. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Hmm. High school feels so far away now. Oh, stuff he has in here. I really don't care to bothered with that. Yeah, he's just collecting pine cones. All it's a it's a thing. What? It's his hobby. That was published before you even born, Sean. What are you talking about? What you're reading? Okay. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. Sorry, buddy. 
It's okay to think about it. I do it too. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Um... Can we open the fridge? Nope. Uh, where, pray tell? How are you doing, Russell? We get food. You're uh, the best puppy in the world. It's my bag. This thing is strong as a rock. I'm just glad we found you. My high school ID. T. And nine dollars and three cents left. Jays. Brody souvenir. USB. Good old Jen. Oh. Yeah, totally need that. No, we don't. <coughs> All right. The heck am I finding food at outside? Hey, look, our buddy Raccoon is back. I got my eyes on him. He stole mushrooms ravioli yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Next time we'll call the forest cops. You whiskered thug. Is that the same from the previous days? Where am I supposed to be getting food from? All I see is magazines, cushion, his bag. I'm a good. Can I go outside here? No. Yes. No. I cannot. Okay. <laughs> I cannot open yeah, the fridge, can I? Totally looks like mushroom. I cannot open the fridge. Okay. Oh, food's up here. Hi. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. Mmm. Tough choice. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli. Okay, okay. <sighs> so tired of eating the same shit. I just want one slice of pizza. This hot dog man These were all I found when I hit the town last week. This dude's cough is insane. What? It was published before you were even born, Sean. Now where is the <laughs> bottle opener? <laughs> Marsh totally looks like mushroom. Thing. I don't remember, was it in here too? I don't think I saw a can opener in here. I don't want think so. Nope. Double nope. Alright. Thanks, Hank. Dickhead. No way I'm touching that. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. <sighs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. That would be pretty cool. So there's nothing of use. Good old super so soaker right there. Nothing of use to open mm. the can. Okay. This hole though in that ceiling. Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, so you get the phone, cigarettes, the broom, the postcard, do 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 the code, card chalkboard, da 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 da. <coughs> How do I open this? It's not what I meant to do. Can't do shit. Can opener. Need a can opener. Need a can opener. <sighs> so tired of eating the same shit. I just want one slice of pizza. Need a can opener. Donde está el can opener? This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Was it in here? 
which would be a weird spot to have it. And then that door's locked. Okay, great. Um, I don't know where it is. Uh, what is this? One pan, one wash, zero mess. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. <laughs> oh, that's warming up. Feels so good. There we I go. I wish we had a big fireplace. Like in Seattle. Remember? Of course I remember. You always got sick on s'mores and ruined the toilet. Yeah. I missed that time. I know. Do we even have any type of food for her? Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. Hot dog man keeps making returns. I love it. Daniel needs a doggo friend. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. I'll remember this, traitor. <laughs> nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. Thought I'd be able to talk to my brother. I guess not to pass the time. I've checked everything else. There's really nothing else to look at, in my opinion. I even looked at the. Okay, we're just gonna go outside to draw. Fine. Let's do it. Oh boy, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Okay. Got it. Drawing starts by observing. Like our teacher used to say. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. to take the pen, dude. Nice. I like it. Come on, girl. Let's get back in. Okay, dinner's ready.
getting sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? That's why I don't understand how dogs do not get tired of the same thing. If you burn this dog, I will be so mad at you. Okay. Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man. She loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry. I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. This dog is too cute. I can't deal. The cuteness. Shroom. I can't get mad at you. Stop being so damn cute. For reals. It's disgusting. No, it's not. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. What a great team. Here it is. For fuck's sake. Time to play dad talk. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. I just saw him now. Uh... Sean, I'm scared. Don't worry, Nano. It's, it's probably just someone lost. Mother. Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Man, are you out of your mind? Uh, come on. Don't be such a pussy. Don't you think your power can be put to a better use? Anyway. Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... For what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... 
I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> Okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> Classy. I don't think so. Loser. Party time. Okay. Ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. This ship is mine. I need a five. Just give me a five. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yay. No full ship. No score. The dies are yours. Got a ship now. I need a captain. Come on. Oh. Come on. Give me something. Anything. Phew. It was a close one. My turn now. Be ready to lose. Can I get something better this time? Oh, shit. What the hell? I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean, we beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract him. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. <sighs> the dice are yours. Got a ship now. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. Whoa. Daniel the big nerd. Getting sick of screens. No way. It's nice for a change. But I still want my playbox. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I hope Noah's keeping our Minecraft fortress alive. For when I come back. I'm sure he is, pal. No way he'd give up your super kingdom. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a no score. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yay. No full ship, no score. Mushrooms growing up so fast. Really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot, but I can tell she's getting older and smarter. You're a smart girl, right? 
<laughs> She's so cute. I love her forever. Come on, give me something, anything. Phew, it was a close one. Ah, pretty good. Come on, my turn. Can I get something better this time? Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. Come on, five. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes, full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just locked out. Fail the holds. Ah, not the best score. But I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. Got a ship now. I need a captain. Come on. Here you go, Captain. Come on, give me something, anything. Why don't I get a full ship? Come on. My turn now. Be ready to lose. Complete ship. You're going down, dude. <laughs> we'll see. Treasuring up. Ah, not the best score. But I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. Yes, full ship. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the score now. Pretty please. Oh, is that it? I was curious how many games we're gonna play. <laughs> so and I win. Do you know what it means? Yeah, okay. You won it. Here's my bag. Mm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> it's cute. Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Gross. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. I wonder how long it's going to take them to get to their grandparents. I still want to know the story behind what dastardly deeds their mother did. Did she abandon them? What did she do? I wonder if we'll even encounter her, which will be interesting if we do. Pretty scary.
don't smoke, it's bad for your lungs, it's a bad idea, it's no good. Because you're smoking those cigarettes. Oh, he passed out fast. Jeez. I just noticed why Sean looks different. His hair is longer because they have not gotten haircuts. I just thought about it. I'm like, what is it that makes him look so different? His hair is longer. Got it. Hey Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom, what is it, girl? What is it? I'm not letting you out there until it's time for us to go. I don't want anything bad happening to this dog. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. Oh. Okay, you'll allow her to go. Okay, buddy. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Dude. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like, you're always polite. Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f... Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? You let her out. Still Peeing, I guess. I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Oh, 
Oh, great. Now they're both missing. Just wonderful. Can I grab his bag, or will it not allow me to do that? Nope. Denied. Okay. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Great, we lost them both. Just great. Daniel! Where is he? Let us follow the footprints. Okay, this way. Yeah. Walked over there. Mm -hmm. Just being a detective real quick. Daniel? Where are you? Okay, I think he went this way. Oh, that can't be good. What the fuck happened here? Boy. Dude. What are you doing? That's not good. Oh, just great! We let him out of our sight for a few frigging seconds. Ugh, Chase. Daniel? Oh no, oh, no! Oh, Daniel, come on. Do not move. It killed her! Dang Do it! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Violent. Dude. Go away. Go. No. Oh my no. god. Ah, oh, jeez. What's true? That is what? so sad. Dag nab it. Daniel. I'm so sorry. Just Jeez. Wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. Man, they can't have nice things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the puppy. <laughs> Dang <Listen>. it. <clears throat> Mushroom. She was so cute. <laughs> the horror. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. Unacceptable. <laughs> Ow. Here. You should do it. That's it. It's pointless. Can't even bury her. 
Well... Unless you want to say something. Uh... Goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always she, remember. She totally was. Running she, through the snow with you. She was awesome. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Doggy! Never. No. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Sure. <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. These guys can't have nice things. Dad, Wait. dang it. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Charge. <laughs> Snowman in charge. So long, my dudes. Poor Mushroom never made it. She was a good doggy. Oof. And now we are trekking in the forest almost as if this is the freaking Lion King or something as if they're gonna grow over time which I know they're not going to but you know still oh Seattle <laughs> nothing but trees surprise it's not snowing to death because the, the precipitation over there is ridiculous for those two to keep trekking after what they've been through in episode one and what they just experienced, all this loss is unfortunate. But you have to hand it to them to keep on keeping on, as it were. I know it's not easy. I heard a saying today and it made me laugh and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Being an adult is like looking both ways before crossing the street, but getting hit by an airplane. You take all the safety, you take all the precaution that you can, and then out of left field, something comes and just either messes up your life or throws it into a bit of a whirlwind. But at the end of the day, if you keep on keeping on, 
things eventually start looking up and turning out for the better. But I couldn't help but laugh when I said, you end up getting hit by a, an airplane. I said, oh, that is so true. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did we make it to our grandmama's house yet? Or we are still trekking God knows how many miles across the state of Washington right now. Did we make it? Are we close? Is it the new year yet? <laughs> uh, how many days have we been walking? Unfortunately, Mushroom died December 2nd, 2016, so, uh... What, what day is it now? Man, we're getting all the directions from characters. While trying to keep our heads low so no one recognizes us from that incident back in our old hometown. That was a nice, interesting segue moment. I like it. Your legs have got to be feeling like jelly by now. It's ridiculous. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Those are the most lovely mistakes. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Jeez. We don't want to look like total pigs. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you right here with the cliffhanger. <laughs> Not even going to press the doorbell. I'm going to leave you guys right here with this. I will resume this tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time, maybe 5 p.m., maybe sooner, all depends, maybe even earlier than that, all depends on how busy I am tomorrow, but I will upload a, and live stream part two of episode two tomorrow. Um, if you're, if you're not sure when that'll happen, subscribe, <laughs> and, uh, press that notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as I go live with episode two, part two. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I am interested. I am just as intrigued to know what these people look like, how they will act if they are still iffy and snooty about bringing a snowball into the house, which is not that serious. It's just water. Um... But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of the Life is Strange Deuce. And, uh, like I always say, St. Mordecai out, and happy gaming, everybody.